Hello, Mark Sabatella from Mastering Muse Score here. In this video, I'm going to talk about swing eighth notes, what they are and what they are not. And I have to admit, um, I'm a little self conscious about being the one to do this video because it feels like this is information that should be widely available, really clearly explained by someone else. Um, but when I look around, I'm not really happy with how I see the, the uh, concept of swing eighth notes explained, so I'm going to give you my version. So, first of all, what are they not? Well, certainly they are not what we call straight eighth notes. They are not eighth notes in which they are exactly all the same length, exactly half a beat, exactly the same volume. So, I'm going to let MuseScore play you the perfect straight eighth notes because it's going to be machine perfect. And then I'll play you my maybe human version. So that's a melody by Charlie Parker played with those eighth notes completely straight, as accurate as a computer can do it. Now I'm going to do my version as accurate as this particular human can play those same straight eighth notes. So that's my rendition of completely straight eighth notes. Now I'm going to play you what I think of as swing eighth notes. In swing eighth notes, instead of one and two and three and four and all the same, it's going to be one and two and three and four, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. The notes on the beat are going to be longer than the notes off the beat. Now everyone will tell you that about swing. but some people have gotten it in their heads that swing should mean something having to do with triplets. And this is what I want to uh, dissuade you of. So I'm going to play my version of swing eighth notes with a long short long that feels about right to me at that tempo. I think I actually took that a little faster, right? And that's actually a point, that the actual ratio should kind of vary according to the tempo. But let's hear what triplets sound like, so you can hear that that's not what I played. That's not what I played. I played... It's somewhere in between straight and triplets, right? It's not it's just not the same. You can't calculate. I mean, you could. You could you could play it and then get a computer to measure it. Um, but that's not how we think. We don't think I'm going to play the first note exactly 60% of the beat. We just play what we feel. But in point of fact, it is somewhere closer to 60% of the beat. In a triplet, if we really did play this uh, kind of triplet feel, if I did that, then the first half, the first eighth of each pair would be two-thirds of the beat, 66%. Swing is somewhere more like 60%. Maybe it's 58, maybe it's 62, maybe it's 57. It, it, it all depends on maybe the tempo, your mood, and whatever else. So um, I'm going to let MuseScore play it at exactly 60. This is what it does by default. It's not bad at this tempo. So, not too bad. That, that's kind of swinging. Um, if I turn the tempo up so that instead of 120, we're dealing with maybe more like 180, the triplets now sound ridiculously silly. Yeah, that's not swinging at all. Uh, the 60% might start to feel a little too much also. I don't know, that's something for you to figure out. Um, you can play around if you're in MuseScore with different ratios to convince yourself of what the proper ratio should be. Maybe I turn it down to only 58% and try that. Ah, 
I don't know, it's maybe something like that. Now, there's another subtle aspect to the playback, and that has to do with maybe accenting the second half of each eighth note, but I guarantee as soon as you try to do that, it's going to sound silly. Yeah, it just sounds ridiculous if you try to do it. It's got to be one of these things you don't even try to do. It's one of these things you just sort of can't help doing. And realistically, it's not every single eighth note on the offbeat that gets the accent. It's ones like this one at the end of the phrase. That, be dot, be bop. That's that's where that word comes from. Is supposedly is from phrases like that. And it's that short note at the end of a phrase that's syncopated. That's the one that gets the kind of extra accent. Maybe not every single other eighth note, because that starts to sound a little silly, just like triplets sound silly. Anyhow, that is my lesson for you about swing eighth notes. It's really something you don't calculate. You don't count you feel. You listen to a lot of jazz or, or music that has swing eighth notes, you get the sound of it in your head, and um, then it starts coming out naturally in your music. That is what swing eighth notes should be about.